And how was your day? Uh, good teacher. Okay. Did you have a good weekend? Um, excuse me? Did you have a good weekend? Saturday and Sunday? Um, um, relaxing. Okay. What did you do? What did you do? Nadine, what did you do? Um, visit my mother um, in the country. Um, I go to I go to the, the church. Okay, I went. I went. I went to church. Uh huh. I visited my mother. Yes. Um, no, 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 no. I visit. I visited. I visit. Visited. It's in the past. In the past tense, Nady. Okay. I visited. Good, excellent. Uh huh. Visited um, my mother in the country. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And only. Okay. Did you eat? Did you cook? Did you? What did you do with your mother? What did you do? What? What did you do with your mother? Ah, um, in where you? No, nowhere. What? What did you do with your mother? Um, Did you celebrate, uh, have a party, watch TV? Not. Um, uh, she is um, Eric. Eric. Who, who Eric? Me, I guess. I don't know. I heard Nady say Eric. Maybe I don't know. Well, Nady the only Eric. Oh, <laughs> and what? What I? I don't know. What I do? <laughs> How? What happened, Nady? Um, he was at home, teacher. Okay. Okay. Good. Very nice. Remember, always use the ED, rested. Always in the past tense when you talk about Saturday and Sundays. What you did. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, good. All right. So now we have the idea about what we did with our partners, what we did this weekend. The important is that today we're going to talk about the topics about celebrations. Okay. Do you celebrate? Do you have parties? Do you go out? Yes? It's yeah. also. Sometimes, right? Yeah, some parties. Okay. And we can celebrate and others now. 
Yeah, exactly. So today we're going to learn some vocabulary for celebrations. For example, here, Sandra, can you read the vocabulary? Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fighter, fireworks, flower, fruit, punch, parade, parade, party, presents, plus turkey, wedding. Good, parade. Parade, parade. Excellent. Do you understand all the vocabulary? Uh, yes. Roast turkey, I don't know. Sandra, what is roast turkey? Um, uh, chicken, when uh, uh, similar to the chicken when that you eat in December, very well, and New Year. It's very common, exactly. Mm -hmm. The ro is like the chicken, but not the chicken, it's the other bird, bigger. For Christmas, New Year's, mm -hmm. exactly. Any other questions? Okay. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, teacher. Like Thanksgiving, exactly. Yeah. In El Salvador, not Thanksgiving, but yes, exactly. Okay. Fireworks, September 15th. The um, lights. Or December 31st. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at the video. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Okay. so. Very easy, a lot of vocabulary about those different parties. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use them today and also with relative clauses of time. So let's see how we're going to combine them. Let's see what we are talking about. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is. So pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Oh, so this is going to be the topic. We're going to use the word when and the vocabulary, okay? So when is for telling us the time. As an example, okay? When do you have a party? When do you get married? What do you do, okay? So. Think about, in your life, when do you have parties? In the birthdays. Birthday. Birthday. In the birthdays, okay. Or like, and, and on December. Okay, in December, good, December. good. Uh-huh. Weddings. Weddings, okay, good. Anniversary weddings too. Anniversary too. Okay. Graduations. Good. So in the chat, you can see an examples. Birthdays, okay. Oops, should be, sorry. Birthdays is. Okay, so the birthdays is when I eat cake or have a parties or maybe anniversaries, sorry. Anniversaries are when, uh, when I go to uh, the mountains on vacation, okay? Weddings, weddings are when, what do you do in the weddings? Uh Celebra uh, people celebrating their love ah, and very how much they love them. Exactly. 
Oh, so we have, okay. Weddings are when people celebrate their love. Do you understand how to use when? <laughs> Take killing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so? Uh, say again, please. What is the question? Look in the chat. We're going to use the when and the description. Okay. So, like in the chat, we're going to use the when and the description. When do you do those? Okay. So, now we're going to use those expressions on 3.4. We have many different days. And with your partner, you're going to select, what do you do? What do you do in the different days or in the different situations? Okay, teacher. It's okay? Yes. Okay, so 3.4 with your partners. Let's try to do it again. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell me. You ready? Hi, teacher. Hi. Eh, eh, this, tengo problemas con, con, mi, con mi señal. Me saca de la, de, la, de la clase. Ya me sacó como tres veces. Ya tenía grupo asignado, pero, pero me sacó de una. Ah, oh, okay. 
Okay, well, don't worry. Then we're gonna practice in a, in a moment. Okay. That way you don't have to worry about connecting. Is, is raining in your house? Yes. Okay. Yes, this is why here in my house too, it's raining, it's more difficult. Very difficult. And tell me, uh, did you do 3.4? Look in the, look in 3.4. Uh, try to complete 3.4. Oh, uh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, it's okay? Yes. The platform? The platform? Yes. Let let me let me let me check. Okay. Here I share with you, Fernando. You do number one, Fernando. Try number one, Fernando. Number one. Okay, somebody else do number one. Fernando's having some problems. Let's help him. What's number one? People have People parties have with family and friends. Okay, good. Who's number two? People sometimes play tricks on friends. Ah, okay. People sometimes play tricks on friends. Number three? Valentine's Day is a day when people oh, no. express... But May and June, May and June. Number three. Um, May and June are the months when many June adults choose to get married. Okay. Number four. People Valentine's express. Day. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Okay. Good, good. Number five. Labor Day. Sorry. Labor Day is a day when people in many countries honor workers. Ah, yeah, even in El Salvador. Uh huh. Number six. February is the month when Brazilians celebrate Carnival. All right. So we got all of sure. them. Yeah. Let's check it. Excellent. All right, any questions? No. All no, teacher. No? Okay. So now, what are we going to do? Now we're going to talk uh, about- Sorry, I have, sorry, sorry, I have a question. Okay, Oscar. Okay. <laughs> In case of number three, uh, May and John are the monks when many, Young adult choose to get married. I don't understand this in this case. Yeah, okay. So number three is is the typical the weddings. Mm -hmm. The weddings are in May and June. But in the in in white white in el bueno in I guess in, in Salvador <laughs> Salvador is December. I don't know when people choose to get married. Yes. Maybe it wasn't in the United States, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> in, in Europe, in, in, in all ah, the, okay. in, in okay. the world, in the world in general is May and June, but okay. it, it has to do with the, the season because in December is normally cold in okay. most countries, that's why. 
Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So now we're going to talk about we're going to talk about celebrations and the days that are special and what we do. In the chat, we're going to have two links. The first link has a lot of questions and the second link also has a lot of questions. So, take a look at the two links. It's okay, the two links, do you have access? Yes. Yes? Okay, so with our partners, we're gonna, yes. we're gonna answer those questions. We're gonna try to ask and answer those questions with our partners. Okay, teacher. All right, let's practice hey, on speaking. Okay. All right.
calls from any angle. Okay, we're ready. So tell me about the holidays. Which one is your favorite one? What do you, which holiday do you like the most? In my case, we... Repeat. Which holiday? Christmas. Ah, Christmas. Okay. All right. Why?
Valentine's Day. Is be happy. The people, uh, I don't know, the people is better in that time. Like, like healthy. No, like uh, good people. The, the, uh -huh. the nice people try to be better. Nice. Try to be nice in that time. Yeah, in the Christmas, right? Okay, all right, good. What about Valentine's? Why Valentine's? Is in Valentine's Day, I guess, uh, we have a, a gift, for example, chocolates or maybe a, a, a present. That was or, in my case, uh, I uh, roses. I I I I bought roses for my my wife. Okay. All right. Good. What about here? The special holidays in El Salvador. Have you ever gone to Nejapa in the Fireball um, Festival? La bola de fuegos, the fireball, no? I is heard. I, I listen about that, but I'm not going. No, it's very nice, very interesting. I only watch on the t on the TV, but I I never hear it. I never go. Mm. It's it's very fun. It's nice. You see it very entertaining. What about in the the Ferrari? Faritos, what is it? The, the torch festival. Faralitos in Ataco and I don't remember the other places. An Ataco teacher. It's an Ataco, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to that festival? No. What is this? The, the festival. Yeah. Is for is the uh, farolitos? Yeah, but de qué se trata? Ah, is that the entire city has all of these decorations and they light up everything in the street. Mm -hmm. So, for example, and when you go to Ataco, when you go to the different places, you see different things. The entire city is like this. Mm -hmm. I never see that. Never. Wow. Never. No, I never either. No. <laughs> no. And, and what it represents the, the Faralito. It's very I, famous. I, mm -hmm. I went uh, maybe eight years ago, but I can. I can pass because a lot of or, or traffic, a lot of cars, and we have a very very long to to walk to walk to to arrive the the downtown. It's very very. Oh, I'm sorry, I forget the, the <laughs> Estaba bastante lleno. Was very. How do you say lleno? How do you say lleno, guys? Uh, full. Full. Very full. Okay. Good. So, we have many. Full of people. Yes, yes, yes. In El Salvador, we have Cloudy. a festival. Cloudy, no. Crowded. Crowded. Crowded, okay. No, no, no cloud, crow. With W. Ah, crowd, crowd, uh -huh. crowdy, crowdy. Crowded, crowded. Mm -hmm. So in El Salvador, we have a lot of festivals, like in other countries. In Brazil, they have a lot of festivals also. What is the famous festival in Brazil? Carnival. 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 Exactly, carnival. So here, let's read the objective. Eric, read the objective. 
uh, in this class, you will listen to the, uh, an audio about the carnival. Uh, this will help you to develop skills in listening for a specific information. Okay, so we're gonna listen specifically about carnival, okay? And here, what do we, what do we have to do? Let's take a look. Oscar, read the instructions. Listen the, then the audio and answer the follow question. Type in full answer for question two, type the number in letters. Okay, so here, here we're gonna listen for the four questions. What is carnival? How long does it last? When mm -hmm. is it? And what is the samba? Listen, take notes, and answer the questions. Page 52, exercise five, listening. Carnival time, part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, exercise five, part B. Listen. Okay, so what is Carnival? Well, it's a big parade. It's a big party or a party? Rio. A big party. Okay, good. Everybody repeat the pronunciation party. 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 Yeah, it's a big party. How long does it last? Four days. Okay. Four days. When is it? In Rio. No, nowhere, when? February, in February, uh, I February, guess. February. February. February or early March. Okay. In March. February or March. Okay. And what is the samba? No problem. Let's listen again and check the answers. Listen again. Listen, listen again listen and answer these questions. Okay. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. 
Okay. <laughs> so what is the samba? It's a dance. 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 Okay, good. So let's take a look. See how we did. Hmm. It says no, but I don't know why. So carnival, let's try with a period or maybe four days. Try only February. That one, yes. Let's try capital letters. Okay. Uh, in for the four two? days. Uh, what about the four, four days? Whoa. Day. Four days? Four, four days. Four whoa, days. Ah, four. Four, four. four days. Okay, let's try four whole days. Mm. Let's see. Not, not to check. Four, four, four days. Period. Only four, four days. Period. Four, four days. We already tried four days. See, four days. It's okay, four days. Look, nope. Mm. Four, 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 the period teacher. I have the period. Uh, code Maybe the period. Answer, the period. And I put four full days with the period. That? With the period sure. there. When is it February? No. Maybe with the period? period. With the period? No. Uh, let's try March, right? Because the other answer some people said was March. Let me try. Late February. No. no. Don't worry, we're gonna see. The answer was February, but I don't know why we don't. It doesn't accept. Mm, maybe with a period, February or March. February, February or early, early March? Or early March. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try. Or early March. March with period. Let's see. With the point in there. Hey. No. <laughs> fine. What about I the samba? The what? It's a dance. It's a dance. That's what we said. Right, but it's a dance. It doesn't give us that. Uh, let me try the period. No. I think it's a music that we can dance. Music, maybe music. 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 No, it's a dance. It is a music. dance. Music that you can dance. I care that well. Yeah, it's a dance, but no, not for no. us. It's here. Yes. It's here. It is a dance. The sentence. It is yes, a, a dance. Okay, let's try a sentence. Hey, wow. Uh -huh. It is a dance. <laughs> okay, good, good. And what about when is it? Maybe it is in February. Maybe it's a sentence. It, it is in February. <laughs> Oh, March. No. No. That one, I don't know what it could be because it has to be. It is on. on May. Maybe they put on February, but it's not correct. But let's try. With a period. No. All right, we'll try to figure it out. But, well, at least we know the answers are correct. We just have to work on practicing them a little bit more. 
Okay. Uh, I'll try to get what it is. In this moment, what we're going to do is with our partners, we are going to talk about which celebration would you like to visit? Me, I would like to visit the Tomatino in Spain and have the tomatoes and throw the tomatoes to different people. Okay. Maybe for you, maybe you would like to visit the festival in India, the color festival where they have a lot of different things or a different festival. So with your partners, take a moment and describe which festival you have seen that you would like to visit or participate in and why, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Page 52, exercise five, listening, carnival time. Part A, Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival.
Page 52, exercise five, listening, carnival time. Part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book Okay, any questions? Not it. No. No? No. Okay. We're going to stop there. And tomorrow we're going to continue again practicing more about the relative clauses mm -hmm. and the different holidays and celebrations. Okay. Okay. Right. okay, okay, okay. Thank you guys. Have a nice night. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Teacher. Yes. What, what is the correct answer? The question number two. I know? asked, I, I asked, but they didn't answer. I imagine they are sleeping. So we wait for tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Don't worry. No, no, Good but night. we find it. We have to find the solution exactly. All right. Good night. Good night.